Hi Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, you have success. Assessing awareness and intuition. Okay, unexpected, interesting. But you're going to have success if you kind of look at something from a different angle, assess something, you're going to be aware of something, someone or something, and listen to your intuition when it comes to this. Let's clarify that right now. So it's kind of like you're looking at something, asking questions, or you become aware of something. What is awareness? What is this? You're assessing and becoming aware of is something you don't know. The moon energy communication. I feel like there's somebody who you're talking to, maybe a Pisces, someone who maybe you feel might be a player. <clears throat> I feel like this person, <clears throat> excuse me, is more nervous than anything. I feel like there's an opportunity with a person, but it could be something else. Like something you feel like you can't do, but actually you can. You're going to have a new beginning. It's like you're seeing something differently. It's a new beginning. It's a good beginning. It could be a person. You talk to this person. You realize this person's not a player. They're just nervous when they're around me. They were kind of, you know, shy or something like that. This person's interested in you. Under the, the deck, it does say unexpected. So there's something unexpected about a situation you're looking at. I mean, it could be something, a skill you didn't know you were good at, a job you didn't know that you would enjoy. Your intuition is going to tell you, like, no, this person's not like that. They're actually very nice. They're very loving. Or, you know, I could do this job. I'd be really good at it. Listen to that intuition. Because it's saying you'll be successful in this endeavor or with this person. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, yep. You got your own card, Sagittarius. It says expand. So grow. Do something different. Do something new. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Um, review something. This is retrograde review. And passion. This card's been coming out for every sign. What are you passionate about? Whether it's a person, a job, a hobby. What do you want to do? Review your passions. Review what makes you happy. So yeah, this assessing here and review, kind of the same thing. Looking at something from maybe a different angle. Looking at your life. Maybe you're going to find out, hey, you know what? I don't like living here. I don't like this job. I don't like what I'm doing. So it's time to make a change. And maybe this might even be kind of unexpected. Maybe you kind of have stayed somewhere too long and you're realizing, I feel like it's something more than that. I feel like you're going to have an epiphany when it comes to relationship or something like that. And you're going to be excited and wanting to make a change. You're going to realize you're really good at something. I guess somebody who's going to, you're going to see photos of yourself and you're going to say, wow, I photograph well or something like that's just something like I look really good when I wear this or I dress this way or that's what they're showing me. So maybe you could start a TikTok or start a YouTube channel or something as well. Maybe good at filming or taking pictures, but okay, what is going on for Sagittarius? Could be dealing with an air sign. <clears throat> there definitely could be someone around you. Yeah, well, I see I see there could be a spark there with this person. I see this person may not be what they appear. They may seem kind of cold or icy, but they're actually not. This person might be kind of feeling lonely right now, possibly. Or you may even think like they don't have anything, but they actually are very abundant and very generous too. Victory. I feel like there's someone who's been through hard knocks. Like they've had a lot, and then they've lost a lot, and then they've maybe gained it back. There's someone you're gonna come across for some of you that you're gonna realize like this is a love connection. Like this you this you and this person could be a good partnership or a good, you know. If you started dating each other, you would get along very well. Or So it could be an Air, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I was going to say Aries. Maybe they're an Aries. That is the date card, of Five of Cups. Huh. This looks like somebody you do know. The cards are making me see like somebody that you would already have known. Someone who's missing you. Someone who's saying like they're willing to give it all up for you. Now, I don't know if that's a metaphor or if that's, but that's what this is showing me here. They're willing to start over from scratch so that the two of you can be together. So this is like someone who lives at a distance who's saying, I'll give up that job. I just, you know, if we could live closer or, you know, they live in another country, they want to move, something like that. This person's been successful, but they have found out that money, you know, that type of success, I mean, it, it gives you freedom, happiness, I get all that, but without you, it has been kind of lonely. I get like lonely at the top. 
Maybe someone has said that to you recently. It's lonely at the top, but three of cups. Yeah, brand new beginning, wanting to communicate. Now, for some of you, you may be kind of on guard. Maybe you've had some past history. If you guys are both coming king, queen of swords, maybe you had an argument in the past. I don't know. Maybe you have a lot of uh, error in your chart. But um, they may be in a relationship that has gone cold with someone else. It may be very alone as well. So it might be a third party situation. It may start out that way possibly, or they're just dating someone else. But we'll, I don't see that specifically. But I'm seeing someone who wants to start over, like come towards you, start over. Um, or you may have never had a strong connection to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there was nothing ever really explored there. You guys knew you had feelings for each other, but they were already moving or already with someone else or you were, so it never really worked out at the time. Could be another Sagittarius possibly like you, but okay. Yeah, they want to start something new with you. A lot of conversations here. I see you going for this. I see you I see you wanting to explore this connection with this person. What is this person? What is this person like? What is Tell me something about this person. That they might have an unusual name, but they're very confident. They could also be quiet, so they could be kind of like the strong, silent type. They'll be getting in touch with you, Sagittarius. It was love at first sight. There is a major attraction here. And this person does have integrity. They seem they might be a little mysterious, so they might sometimes that's a Pisces Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, obviously. All right. <clears throat> we have, do you have Pisces here? So I kind of feel like some of you are not too sure about this person, but again, your card did come out with expand. So I kind of feel like you are going to give this a chance <clears throat> and at least see where it goes. This person may be visiting for the holidays. So that might be why we have the Six of Swords here as well. Because I do feel like this person could be living or they were living at a distance. They may have been in Japan. I'm getting like Tokyo or something specifically for someone. Uh, what does Spirit want us to know about this connection with this person? Okay, so simplicity. Now, the card says you're making things harder than they need to be. I feel like this person, yeah, they want to kind of narrow down their life in a sense. Like if they do live at a distance, if they do have multiple companies, if they, if they do, you know, they're dating different people. They, it's like they want to have a very more simple, live closer, date one person, have a commitment, that type of energy. It says unconditional love. I accept you the way you are. All right. We have longing. Someone's saying, will I ever see you again? And under the deck is new beginning. So I'm getting someone has sold a company. So wants to sell a company. I think they are, it looks like they already sold this kind of what I'm getting. I feel like someone's selling a company or getting out of a business and moving to be closer to you. Someone's saying, I'm not over you. They don't know what comes next. They want you so badly. They want you. And they find you so attractive. They may hide their feelings because they do come out as the king or queen of swords. So that that card does kind of show me that. So you have a new beginning with somebody that you have known before. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? Seeing something differently with the hanged man. Nine of coins. I do feel like this person does have a lot of money. I feel like this is like a businessman, woman, somebody who, again, because of the ten of coins and what, the, what I'm seeing here, I do see that like it could be very financially stable for you and for them, of course, but for you. Uh, but, let me see. Again, this could be how they're viewing you as the nine of coins, pentacles, independent, of course. Watching, coming across, coming, traveling with the chariot and the knight of swords. Coming, they're going to be coming in very quickly. This is someone who doesn't like to waste time. They want love, ace of cups. They want to go out with the three of cups and they have the ten of coins. They could be an earth sign that's under the deck, but I'm thinking this is someone who, again, um, this could move quickly for some of you. Assessing awareness, listening to you. This must be the person then. Maybe talking about this person to assess them. Listening to your intuition. 
I'm wondering if I should extend this one. I'm kind of thinking I might extend this one and keep going and see what else shows up. So I think I will. I'll put the link below, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.